Really, I think the challenge that we are in today is that, you know, shippers are obviously trying to take advantage of rates. And I understand that. I was on the shipper side previously in my life as well. And when you can get the rate reduction, you always try to. But I think the big thing that I'm concerned about as we go forward is being able to cash flow, not specific to CFI or Heartland or our parent company. But when you think about those other companies out there that are maybe smaller or mid size that may not have that free ability to uh, cash flow their business on a regular cycle, the challenge becomes is how do they survive during the, uh, the this drawdown in freight and drawdown in rates? You got the push and the pull, right? The push is the expenses are going up. The pull is that the shippers are wanting rates to go down, and that's never a good scenario. And, and my concern is ultimately that we probably will see some exits out of the industry in Q1 and, and probably in some pretty big numbers. And I hope that's not the case, but ultimately, Ultimately, what that means is uh, a drawdown in capacity. Some of those drivers probably will leave the industry and not come back. And ultimately, it'll flip itself right back into where it becomes a carrier uh, controlled marketplace uh, rather quickly. So at the end of the day, folks, I think the big thing is, you know, we, we've got to really figure out how to balance that push and pull from a relationship perspective, trying to be uh, a lot of shippers are trying to be the shipper of choice and being upfront and honest with the carriers. And that's really what we're trying to focus on is making sure that we attach ourselves to the, the shippers that really uh, believe in that relationship and, and not only talk it, but walk it. And we're trying to do the exact same thing from our side.